But let me go to a different conversation with you. Recently, you know, when I watch some of your tweets, I, I don't know if you've announced this or not. I don't know if you've joined APAC. I don't know if you are, you know, <laughs> you know, if you are an advisor for them. Let me read some of these tweets. You know, uh, uh, Muslims aren't the problem. The open borders and motherfuckers and the media attacking nationalism, pushing DEI, transgenderism, and destroying moral values are the problem. August 4th. If you don't put America first as a U.S. politician, you are committing treason. Supporting Israel is bad for America. Netanyahu is a convicted war criminal and Israel is not our ally. We fought way too many wars for Israel and we certainly don't need to give them any more money. July 25th. These idiots have ruined movies. Everything they put out is literally propaganda. And then all of a sudden we got scripture here. For what shall it profit? For what shall... It profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul. Is this recent, you know, comments you're making about Israel a recent thing, or have you always had these beliefs? It's more recent. I, I didn't really realize what a problem it was until recently, and then everybody was scared to say something about it. My brother told me, like, you know, you can't say anything about it. They'll fucking kill you. Like, everybody basically said that I couldn't say anything about it. And actually now they're like literally like trying to like kick me off the board of my company because of those tweets. Oh, like shit. Yeah. I've definitely had a lot of like negative pushback, a lot of my Jewish friends, but I don't give a fuck. You know, it's like one of those things where I, I know that it's the right thing. And the fact that everybody else is scared to say it makes me, you know, feel obligated to be vocal about it. Why because, do you think it's the right thing? Cause I know that they're a fucking parasite. Like they provide the U.S. absolutely no value. They've done so many things that, you know, would constitute, um, you know, an act of war against us. I mean, USS Liberty, Lebanon Affair, I mean, it can go on and on and on and on and on. Um, but, you know, I, I think they knew about 9-11. Um, I think they had JFK assassinated. The first thing that he wanted to do, you know, right before he died was, you know, make APAC a foreign entity mm -hmm. um, and not allow them to have nukes. And then all of a sudden this fucking guy's dead and Jack Ruby, who is Jack Rubenstein, you know, I mean, it's just like, like, and then you just, I don't know, man, I, I can't ignore all the shit that they've done. They sold our secrets. Netanyahu lied to us about weapons of mass destruction. We fought all these fucking wars. My friends have died over there. Like, you know, and I, I just look at what they provided us with and it's fucking, it's, it's not nothing. It's like a negative, you know, it's not, even if they just didn't do jack shit, that would be you know, bad, but they've actually done things to hurt us over and over and over again. So like this whole thing of they're our greatest allies, just complete fucking bullshit. And, you know, we send them a hundred billion dollars, then they send APAC a hundred million dollars and then they distribute it to our politicians and every politician is a little fucking APAC handler walking around and telling them what to fucking say and how to vote. And it's just like, look, I've donated like a hundred grand to politicians, you know, and they call me up like, Hey, you need anything? Like every week. I don't need shit. I fucking sit on my ass. I don't do anything. I don't care. I don't fucking break any laws or any favors like i just gave it to them because they didn't want to see any more fucking mm -hmm. retard you know democrats in there so um you know but that's a hundred thousand like what does a hundred million buy you how many fucking phone calls do those guys get you know and so like i just know how it works and the system is broken like these people get in office and they don't have very much money and they get out of office with fucking tens or hundreds of millions of dollars it's not a fucking accident right is, is that an israel thing or is that anybody because china is doing the same thing china it doesn't Iran's have the their same they don't have an apac like Israel is the only one that has a fucking like a lobby in the U.S. fucking you know giving these politicians money. Okay, no, every country the big ones all have lobbyists. They they all have lobbying that they're doing. Not in the U.S. They're registered as foreign entities. Right. I mean, if you're talking about, are you going to the dual citizenship part with Israel? You know, Israel. That's that another problem. Is is a lot of our politicians have far more allegiance to Israel than they do the United States. I mean, that's a whole other issue. As do you well. know why they did they did the dual citizenship? Do you know the history behind why they did the dual citizenship? What do you mean? Like, so the whole concept of dual citizenship was because when Israel became a you know country again, they didn't want the people from here who wanted to go back to Israel that didn't have a motivation to go if they were going to lose their citizenship here. So that was the reason why they did it. It was kind of like, okay, uh, you're your own country. We kind of need some of you guys to move over there to help the country out. Yeah, but I'm not going to go. Why are you not going to go? Am I going to lose my citizenship here? But you kind of, you are. I mean, we don't do that. Every other country, you got to, I don't want to lose my citizenship. Well, okay, how about if we do this? How about if we allow you just Israel to go back to your country, you won't lose your citizenship? That was the arrangement at the beginning why they did it that no, way. No, look, I get it. I have yeah. three citizenships. You know what I mean? I think it's okay. I, I think the, Where's the third one. I know Armenia, but um, the same kids. Okay, got it. 
Yeah. So, I mean, I don't have an issue with dual citizenship. My issue is when somebody is holding a U.S. office and they are putting a foreign nation's interest before America's interest and they are favoring that other country. And so that to me is treason. Like when you are a U.S. government official, your motivation should be to do things in the best interest of the government that you are representing, not some other fucking foreign country. And that's the problem. Okay. So, but, but go through it. So what is the solution? Meaning, uh, if Israel's the enemy, then if, if if let's just say you don't do anything and everybody in the Middle East unites to take out Israel, do you think the Middle East is better without Israel? And do you think the world's a safer place without Israel? A hundred percent. It's not you, even close. Okay. Tell me why. Why do you, you think? Give me an argument otherwise. <laughs> Please. Please but tell give, me. give me one argument why the world would be better off with Israel. <laughs> Let's just start with that. One thing. Give me one thing. Have you ever lived in the Middle East? No. I lived there for 10 and a half years. It's, okay. it's a very, uh, 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 it's, it's not as like here. You, you can sit here. You can be an atheist. You can be an agnostic. I can be a Christian. It can be a Jew. It can be an LDS, Muslim. No problem. We can coexist here. You can do that in Israel. You can do that. Uh, I mean, in, not really. They're operating apartheid right now. Not so at, it's not, not, everybody's not living equally. Not at the level of Iran. Not at the level of what Iran is doing. I mean, in Iran, if you're thinking what Israel is doing out of control, do you know how much money Khamenei's families made? Do you know how much money they've taken? They have 200. I've, I've never read Iran, but I've been to Dubai. I've been to Saudi. Like, I've been to UAE. Different. So, like, and, they, and they're all Muslim. They seem to be operating well, fine. I, I, would, I would say Iran's slightly different than I But go back to it. So, okay. So, you think the Middle East and the world would be a better place if Israel didn't exist? Yes. Okay. Israel has committed, you know, so many terrorist attacks. They, they're stealing land right now. They're operating in apartheid. Um, they're currently committing a genocide on Palestinians. Like, do you believe in the genocide they're committing? I, I, I think they're fighting for themselves and they're defending themselves. Do you, you think that's defense? Well, when, 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 when 1,200 people died, yeah. of which the 1,200 you've killed and admitted that right. you've killed a lot during, you know, your well, handle. I will tell you this. I will tell you this. Uh, the part I question where people who are Jewish can't stand when I say this. I don't know how you, Netanyahu, claim you have the best intelligence in the world, Mossad, and you didn't know that on October 7th they were attacking you. They knew about you. it. They, didn't, they, they wanted it to happen, so well, they had the a reason CIA to take them, that. Yeah, yeah they, they wanted a reason to take the land. I totally get and it. And they so, killed their own citizens. But I, and they claimed that all these people got raped. That was bullshit. They claimed beheaded babies. That was bullshit. Everything that they said was a fucking complete. Not only was it a lie, but they committed all those atrocities themselves to the Palestinians have been caught doing it. In fact, they just got caught gang raping Palestinians. You know, how many babies have they killed? All the things right. that they accuse right. the Palestinians of or Hamas of or whatever, they are guilty of a hundredfold themselves. So so you And they've been doing that. Like October seventh wasn't the start of this. Like the start of this was knock, but they've done so many I don't diff- disagree. Yeah, I don't disagree. Yeah. So I mean this or- is not like it's not like October seventh is like it's all of a sudden they just came over right. there unsolicited right. and just killed people. Like they had been killing Palestinians for years and years, operating two sets of justice. You know, it's like they have the justice for the Palestinians, the justice for the Israelis. And if you read the Talmud, mm-hmm. like, you know, if you're not Jewish, you're basically not a human. You're like, you know, like cattle. If 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 a if a Jew is, you know, is is killed by, you know, somebody that's not Jewish, then it's the death penalty. If a Jew kills somebody that's not a Jew, then, you know, you can't kill them. It's not the death penalty. Like, they, they literally, like, segregate in their Bibles. They're they, very protective of themselves. I don't think I don't yeah. think anybody can debate that. I don't think it's a... Well, it's, it's not the... The problem isn't that they're protective of themselves. The problem comes when you think that you're better than other people and you think it's okay to lie to anybody that's not a Jew. You think it's okay to steal from people that are not a Jew. You, you have two sets of standards. The problem with that is mm-hmm. it allows you to rationalize anything, right? And human beings are generally self-serving creatures. So if your fundamental religious belief system allows you to operate in such a way that you believe there isn't consequences to stealing from other people, killing other people, you know, raping, you know, kids that are under nine years old, like if you think those things are okay, then, you know, how are you going to operate? Because to me, like my moral code keeps me on track. I don't think, I don't think that's what it is. I don't think it's, uh, because you, you're saying it one-sided. You're not telling the other side of the story of what they're doing either. You're not saying what Hamas did. You're not saying what they did. What did Hamas do? I mean, from day one, when you see the rapes and the videos, we've all seen it. This isn't something what, that- What we, rapes and videos? But 
stay on this year if you want to continue well, with no, this. No, no, but what, what rates of it is? But, but my concern when you're saying Israel's doing it, you're saying the other side isn't doing anything? No, but I'm asking. No, no, I, there was no rapes during October 7th. They've, they've, they've shown no rapes from October 7th. They showed no beheaded babies. All that was all I'll, bullshit. I'll send you stuff. No, no, there's plenty of stories. It's not all of them. The, is, the Israeli articles that I saw recently said that, that there was only two babies killed. One was shot by a bullet and the other one died in a the hospital. There was no babies in ovens. There was no beheaded babies. All that was all bullshit. The, the big, the big, okay, so go back to the part when you said they think they're better than you. You believe that Jews think they're better than everybody else. It says it in their Bible. Okay, but you believe they're better than everybody else. Okay. I, I didn't say they're better than everybody else. They think. According to their scripture. Okay. But what if, what, and, and if you look at how they operate, right? Like they literally caught people raping Palestinian prisoners and there was riots. But the riots weren't because they were raping the prisoners. The riots were because they felt like they had the right to rape the fucking prisoners. That's why they almost had a fucking civil war, because they felt like they had the right to rape these prisoners. They felt like that was OK because they yeah. weren't Jewish. So, you know, when you have a society that operates like that, you're going to have fucking problems. And they're not the fucking most moral army. That's all fucking bullshit. And, you know, everything that they say, it's just like almost like, listen, when somebody lies to me, like if you lie to me, I'm not probably going to trust you again. You lie to me a second time. I'm definitely not going to trust you. You lied to me a third time, and I let you lie to me the third time. I'm the fucking idiot. These motherfuckers have lied like 10,000 times. So, like, I don't believe anything yeah, they say I, anymore. I, I, I come from a place of, I don't, want, I don't sit here expecting you to tell me 100% the truth. I don't sit here thinking, yeah, Dan's going to tell me 100% the truth with whatever he has in his life. I don't expect that from you because I don't expect people to walk on water. That's not my expect. I'm going to live my life. I'm going to live it with my life, but... You, you can't think that China's going to tell us the truth or Iran tells us the truth or U.S. tells everybody the truth or you think any country is going to tell us 100 percent the truth. But I don't know, man, I, I got a different moral code like in, in gambling. It's not about, you will, but in gambling and business, like with my friend group, like you lie to you lie one time, you welch on a debt, you do one You're thing in friendship, though. The, 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 I'm just saying my friends, possible. people that I know, people that I do business with, very, people I gamble with. Like I, it's, it's the just, same thing I have as well. It's the same thing most people have that, that um, there's a difference between on the personal side. Then on the countryside, so I'm convinced the future looks bright and we want a million people to wear the gear. Future looks bright. The USA hats last time we had it sold out like this. They're officially back the USA hats. If you want them, order them ASAP. If your entire family loves America and you want to support it for the rest of the year. So indirectly, when you walk, you know, now these people are like, well, when you have an American flag in the house, what are you really saying politically? Which way do you lean? Yeah. It means I love America. You know what people think when you wear a USA hat and you walk in run and on the side it says future looks bright? You're making a statement when you wear this. And by the way, brand spanking new limited gear being dropped here. This will go out in no time. I wear these flip flops now because when you have Jesus feet like I do, you have to <laughs> wear flip flops that are comfortable. And these are the most comfortable flip flops. It's got the gel in it. And a little lift here when you wear this. It's ridiculous. Feels good. Future looks bright. American flag. Wear them during the summer. Wear them while you're walking out. Wear them while you're walking your dogs at the house with the VT logo on it. This is limited supply. First come, first serve. Some sizes will probably be gone. Go to VT Merch and order it. And by the way, for those of you that are getting the VT gear, post the pictures all over the place. We see you. Can we show some of these? Look at this one here. Pink VT hat. Go to the next one, Rob, if you oh, can. I know this, her. This is uh, Nick Moore, who's an NFL player for the Baltimore Ravens. There, if you can zoom Where's in. Yeah. Zoom in right there. That's him. Look what he's wearing oh, to the left. Wow. Freaking walking in Dude, with a future looks so bright sick. hat. What a stud. Go to the left one, Rob. That's him. That's another one with nice. the military one. Good for you with the beard. Another one sporting it. Keep going, Rob. We got hundreds of these. Ryan Brian McClain. McClain. Keep going. Another one. These were unique ones that we had. Keep going. Nice. Keep going. Uh, uh, ah, baby girl, yeah. keep going, That's, keep so going, adorable. keep going, Rob, keep going, keep going. Anyways, we got a bunch of these here. Gang, buy the gear, sport it, let the world know you believe the future looks bright, especially if you represent the brand. I'm grateful for you. I'm thankful for you. I love the fact that we got confident, strong people who believe in debate, discourse, that want to represent the freedom and different values and principles that we believe in. We love you guys. We appreciate you. Go to v2merch.com, place your order. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.